Wakey, wakey. Time to get up. Nice hair, kid. Jack, how are you feeling? Do you mind if I sit down? Great, so he went from this like badass cyborg to an emo. Jack. Don't shut me out. I need you to listen to me. I don't wanna. Like, ugh. Look at the boy. He's got very anime hair. Cute. Campbell's kid. No. He's yours. I don't have any kids. Yeah, we didn't do it. Your son. <gasps> you said miscarriage. I lied. God damn, this relationship is fucked. I had a healthy fucked. baby boy. Roy pretended to be my husband to protect me and our sons. From who or what? Only until you completed your mission to shield us from Patriot eyes. That's what I'm saying, too. What? He didn't even tell Meryl. He sacrificed everything. Even his family. To protect us. I don't believe it. I'm sorry, Jack. I wanted to tell you. So he's really... Finish your sentence. John, aren't you going to say hello? Hello, John. My son. Little John. Robin Hood? Yeah, okay, kid. John. Rose. I'm done running. Like, playing Metal Gear Solid 2. And just, I love this musical. It's like, oh my god, it's so romantic, it's so inspirational. It's like, no, this relationship is built on lies. 
there's no way that these two are not going to end up either hating each other, getting a divorce, and the kid is either going to like, he's going to grow up to be taking down Raiden because he defended his mom. Like, I can honestly see something like so crazy. I'll never leave you alone again. You know, like he'd be the new big boss, and then the kid would be the new solid snake taking down his dad and... Yeah, this whole relationship is just one big, just lie. <laughs> what? Scene from Beauty and the Beast. Well, neither one of you is Beauty or a Beast. Don't say that. You're no Beast. You're my husband. I mean, I first have to get father. divorced first, but you know. And me? I'm going to do my very best. To be the wife and mother this family deserves. Two weeks later, they get a divorce. Changed. So you lied. Our time has ended. Our war is over. But there's one more thing I must do. I must go to Mexico. finish the cigarette this is my final mission
That is probably going to be the worst tasting thing he's ever had. Like, almost as bad as, like, drinking orange juice right after you use mouthwash. Nothing beats a stiff drink, huh? Wait. I didn't know you. So how is the Mark II dancing? I thought it was strictly soda. Isn't he supposed to be controlling it? Not like I never touched the stuff. Soda just agreed with the nanos better. <laughs> the nano machines break down alcohol before it has a chance to get you drunk. So that explains it. No need to hold back anymore, huh? Yeah, well, it ain't all sunshine and rainbows. Lolly pops in. A lot of folks lost their entire sense of being the moment SOP went offline. You mean SOPS? I heard some people are going through withdrawals. SOP syndrome. Yep. SOP kept more than just alcohol under control. Those poor slobs are virtually naked now. From what I hear, over 10% are showing symptoms. I guess getting rid of the Patriots won't solve all our problems overnight. You, uh, probably already suspected this, but I'm not actually an employee of AT Security. Huh? The Patriots raised me to be a gun locker. <laughs> the Patriots? My earliest memories are of the LRA. They kidnapped me, forced me to fight. Yep, you're staring at a former child soldier. My parents, brothers and sisters, all killed in the war. Guess that makes me what you call a war orphan. After that, the Patriots picked me up and brought me into the family business. I was driven. Number 893. There's a whole lot of pawns like me all over the world. How do you suppose I laundered guns like I did? Because <laughs> they let me. In fact, I was under strict orders to back you guys from the start. You what? <sighs> hey, man. Don't take it personal. I wasn't the only one under their orders. Huh? Huh. Meryl and... They probably never realized it themselves, but... Rat Patrol Team Zero One. Obviously, Liquid's plot was a threat to the Patriots. So they planned to have you guys take care of me. Didn't turn out quite how they planned, though, did it? Yeah, well, I don't think they expected you to crash their system and wipe them out. So, does that mean you're out of a job now? <laughs> Are you kidding? I got the dread in. All the Drebbins in the world are in on it. From now on, we're in business for ourselves. We are pawns no more. Easy there. The White House might have lost its taste for unilateralism, started to rebuild. But there's a lot of failed states out there that went bankrupt from their PMC oh, habits. And they owe a shitload of money. Now, only question is, 
who's going to pick up the tab? I'm sure these new governments will try and keep it under control with PMC corporate reform laws, but it ain't going to be good enough. They all sunk up to their eyeballs in the war economy. Might not be a new world order, but the old order under the war economy is gone for good. I'm guessing the UN is gonna be more important than ever, what with multilateralism and all. A certain president said it best back during the Cold War. For in the development of this organization rests the only true alternative to war. Then again, That's one chill monkey. The UN itself is just a whole 20th century relic. Maybe think about it. When you look at its history, it ain't that different from the Patriots. Ah, uh, that's right. The nano machines used to keep you sober. Crush. Mix. Burn. Repeat. Hey, Uncle Hal. Can I give him the Mark Three? Huh? He's. Just give some random kid friend. like a multi-million dollar project? Sure! <laughs> it's no RC car, but you know. He lives near here. We can't understand each other's language, but we're having fun. Google Translate? <laughs> He's my very first outside friend. <laughs> really? That's great. <laughs> he seems so like, yeah, that's great, kid. Who Sunny. cares? It's okay if you want to live outside now. It's your life. There are other havens out there. The sun looks so pretty. Sunny. I like it outside. Uncle Hal, when is Snake coming back? Snake. is sick so he went on a trip to help him get better we're not going with him no it's kind of a one-way trip no he needs to be alone i wonder if i'll ever see him again snake had a hard life He needs some time to rest. <laughs> Are you crying? Yes. No. I'm not crying. And he broke his glasses. Credits, one more cutscene, and then the credits, and then we're done. So, I'm gonna leave it off here. Because, <clears throat> like I said, this is pretty much just the, uh, the first chunk of the credits. I'm gonna leave it off here, and then we'll pick it up in the next episode, will be the finale. And then after that, Metal Gear Solid 5. That will be awesome. So, 
to be here. Like I said, thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to like, share, comment, subscribe down below if you're brand new. Help my channel grow. You know, I'm always looking for new ways of doing things and always looking for feedback for subscribers and new supporters. But, like I said, we're going to hit up the last mission for the last video next week. And that'll be it. Thank you guys so much for watching.